Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Take us through the last lap because it was still tight there at the gun. Oh, it was it was tight. Uh, the last lap was tight. I think. How many were there? I, I don't remember. Yeah, I didn't yeah. look back, but I think you can feel it. There was at least five of us in there. Yeah. And even when we caught up the rub, there's still four of us in there. I try not to look back. I, everything I needed was in front of me, and I was just chasing down uh, Paul Chalima. You said that like the ten was yours to lose, and the five was almost an afterthought. Uh, well, so, like, I mean, I I got it. I I was I had 13:03 coming in from pre, so it wasn't. I'm not saying. I don't have a chance in the 5K. It's just I was pretty devastated after the 10K and the way it went. Yeah. Today, like going into the race, I mean, what was your expect, like confidence level? Like, did you think, oh, like, I, I was ready. I, I thought I was the man to beat, regardless of how the race went. Uh, I, I had a great confidence in me, and uh, when when you train, we train for both events, and I I, I had any speed to go with those guys, especially when we run an X amount of laps. This is not a 15. This is a 5K. So I figured. Whatever the outcome is, the first 10 laps, the last two, last three laps, I had the strength and the speed to withstand. So that was my uh, mindset coming in. Down here, we kind of well, top of the U.S. this year. Well, well, season running really well. Any specific thing that kind of like you know, had you in some all this year? Any this is right this, this is my fourth year uh, out of college, so no excuse. I had four years to get strong and, and fast and everything, and this was it. Yeah. You said before you weren't gonna let Rub get away from you in the five like you did in the ten. But there was that gap with three laps to go. What yeah. was going on there? Yeah, he put down a couple of 61 60, so you got to look at it with how much left and where, you know, if he can, he wasn't, he can hold it off, but when we, we got to 600 to go, we were going to come. We were going to come hard. So I just knew that even even if he went and got, I was still going to really, you know, come afterwards. So okay. I wasn't really concerned. I just knew we were going to catch him because just the pace we were going, it was hot pace. Alrighty. So it was hard to sustain that pace. So I figured, you know, I'm going to hold it back a little bit and bring it strong for okay. the last 800 or 600. So, so you didn't think he was going to run a four last mile? Yeah, I mean, if he ran, heads up. But I, I, where I was, I was playing my car. And my car was, I wasn't going to run 61s with a, you know, th four three, laps. four laps to go. So that was a... That, and that was something Coach would rely on me. He said, you got to make a decision when it happens, it happens. You got to decide how you, how early you're going to go, when you're going to go, and if you pay attention to the pace they're going. So in that case, I made a judgment to not go with him and stay back. And it turns out I was right. Were you happy it was cloudy today? Yeah, the sun starts kind of come out. We were warming up, and I was at a ice vest and everything. But, yeah, it's about 14 degrees cooler than when we ran that 10 So, yeah. Thanks. Thank you.